I'm a member advocate here at Sunshine State Health Plan. Most of the time we're the first contact with the patients and we refer the patients to either case management or connections representatives so they can have a better service or a more personal touch with the plan. We receive their phone calls and we assist them in escalated issues. When the member has a lot of issues related to their health, we assign them or refer them to a case management for an assessment. Uh, I am a OB case manager for Sunshine Health and what I do is I help all the pregnant moms. I screen them and I see if they're high risk or moderate risk and I work with them through their pregnancy until they deliver to make sure that if they have any needs I can help them. So a big part of my job also as a registered nurse case manager is to educate and we educate, educate so that our outcomes will be healthy babies. A typical conversation would be I've been trying to reach this member um, let's say if it's an OB, um, they're high-risk pregnancy and um, I need to get them into case management. Can you please go see this member and assess them and get me connected with the member? And then usually when I go to the member's home, I, I like to make the connection right there, right then with the case managers. If they're available, I will call them. Um, right there and say I have the member with me do you, would you like to do an assessment explain to them if they're interested in being case management you know as is uh, vice president of finance of the, of the health plan uh, I think uh, I'm responsible uh, for ensuring that we deliver on not only the savings that we uh, that we committed to for uh, for the state but also ensuring that we are compliant at the same time and that means providing all of the services required for us to serve the members and to achieve those savings. And you have to understand that at the end of the day with these members, most of them are very young. Some of them are 14, 13 years old. Um, they don't know where to turn. They don't know what to do. And they are so excited and thrilled to have me to speak with them and to guide them. And I try to do as much as I can for these members to make it easier for them. Some of the things that we do, especially for um, the pregnant moms, we have, we have baby showers. We also have something that's called birthdays. Um, and also that we, if they don't have a phone, we also give them a Connection Plus phone. And it's not only just to have a baby shower, to also educate the member on especially the young moms who have the first child, who have no clue what, what to do. We talk to them about uh, proper nutrition, making sure that they um, follow up with their OB, making sure that they take their um, prenatal vitamins, and um, also provide resources in their local area that we normally wouldn't have, and to make sure that they are okay with this pregnancy and to make sure that they have a healthy, happy baby. It's important for us to integrate all of the services that the member um, obtains from, uh, from the provider network that we've got in place. And so as, in order to achieve that integration of services, you've got to have multiple providers talking to each other. And we help that communication through the systems that we've got in place. For me, it's very personal because I get very involved in the situation, especially when we have elderly patients, they don't have somebody to take care of them, they're by themselves. So we're like part of their family sometimes. They call and they're very appreciated. They're like, thank you so much for all the help that they're getting from us. And also with little kids, it's very touching when you get to help them get the medication they need or to see the specialist that they need. I love this job because this is my passion. I love helping people and it fits right into my personal belief and I, I don't think I'll do anything else but this so yeah it's a very very a great position to be in. Um, but I think what's important is that we have got an ongoing dialogue with the state to make sure that the goals um, of achieving improved outcomes among our membership is achieved and, and achieved in a cost-effective way. 
is every day is an adventure and it's very rewarding to meet your goals to help somebody going home and say I did it today I made them you know you made their life easier for you maybe just a member calling because we have a high volume of member callings and cases that we work with but for them it's their life it's their their health and they look to me they look up to me to help them and lead them so that the bottom line is we want the mothers to be healthy and we want to have healthy babies. You know, at the end of the day, I feel great because I'm able to help someone who had no one to help, who have no family or no assistance, and knowing that I can help that person, and it's, it's the greatest feeling in the world.